Thank you so much for watching this online video tutorial. Please like, comment and share the video. And please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel at Good Better Best Online Videos for more content. Now lastly what we are going to look at are trig equations and so this is basically where we are going to solve for theta and so <laughs> what this is built on is basically the same as solving for x we are going to make theta the subject of our equation as best we can and so we can solve it right and so let's see in an example what that looks like so in this example uh, it's, we'll call it example 1 this is so they give us sine theta is equal to 1 over 2. Cool. So what we have to do is get theta by itself so we can solve it. And remember when we were trying to get um, in the past when we tried to get tan away from theta, what all we had to do was shift it over. And so we can do the same thing with sine and cos. So we're going to shift sine and what it's going to look like is theta is equal to sine negative 1 and in brackets a half. Cool, so you're doing the same thing. You're pressing shift on your calculator and you're pressing sine and you get sine to the negative 1. And once you put the, uh, the fraction in, you'll get theta's final answer of 30 degrees in this case. Moving on to the next one, they want us to find 2 cos theta and saying that that is equal to 1. So what we have to do first is focus on getting cos theta by itself. How we do that is we divide by 2 both sides, so the 2's here cancel, and we're left with cos theta is equal to 1 over 2. And so to get theta by itself, we have to shift cos, like we did with sine before. So theta is going to be equal to cos to the negative 1 and a half in brackets. Once we plug that into our calculator, we get the final answer of 60 degrees. In the next one, they're going to ask us to solve for 2 cos theta plus 20 degrees is equal to 1. So now this looks a bit different, a bit weird. We have theta plus an angle on the inside over here. So let's just see how we go about solving that. And I promise you it's not that difficult. You'll see just now. So first thing we want to do is get cos theta plus 20 by itself. What we do is we divide by 2 both sides, right? That will cancel out that 2, and this will become 1 over 2. And so this is cos theta plus 20 degrees is equal to 1 over 2. What we need to do now is, you guessed it, we need to shift cos. So what's left over on the left-hand side is theta plus 20 degrees, right? So that brackets now falls away. We left with theta plus 20 degrees, which is going to be equal to cos to the negative 1 and a half in brackets over there and so obviously we know from before that this is going to equal to 60 degrees right so we'll have theta over here so what's happening to this 20 degrees because remember we need theta by itself it's going over and it's becoming minus 20 degrees right so what we end up having is this answer here which was 60 degrees minus this 20 degrees that came over and so theta's final answer is going to equal to 40 degrees and then just for one more example, we have 4 sine 2 theta minus 10 degrees minus 1 is equal to 1. And so first thing we're going to want to do is get this minus 1 over, it becomes positive 1, so we're left with 4 sine 2 theta minus 10 degrees, it's a lot of writing. And this becomes 1 plus 1, which gives me 2. Next thing, to get rid of that 4 in front of sine, so we divide by 4 both sides. 4 is cancelled there. Obviously, 2 over 4 we know is going to equal to a half, right? So we have here sine 2 theta minus 10 degrees is equal to a half. Now we need to shift sine across, so we're left with 2 theta minus 10 degrees on this side. It's equal to sine to the negative 1, because remember we shifted it. Put that in our calculator. And so obviously we're going to try and get theta by itself here, so we still have 2 theta now, right? That negative 10 degrees is going to go over, 
and it's going to meet up with the answer to this which was 30 degrees so 30 degrees plus this 10 degrees that comes over so 2 theta is equal to 40 degrees and to get theta by itself we need to divide by 2 both sides 2 cancels there and we're left with theta is equal to 20 degrees as our final answer so today we did solving for triangles, we did special angles, and now we did trig equations. I hope that all of this has been made clear to you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and following along, and I hope you guys have a good one. See you in the next video.